Right, hello everyone. I thought I'd start my vlog this time a little bit earlier. Now, obviously this is the vlog for Future's End. We've got mail. Now with any kind of LARP that happens, your front room or your packing area becomes a complete mess like this. Look at that. And then him. So at the moment it's covered in Nerf guns, kit, costume, anything that I think I might need to make change roller to go. So obviously I'm going to be going in my apocalypse kit, which I will show here. There we go. But what I need to do is I need to go get a new SD from PC World. Because the SD I use at the moment is only a 16 gig, so it gives me an estimate an hour and 20 minutes worth of filming. Now as you probably all know, any of you who've ever filmed anything, you need to at least record three or four times the amount of what you need. Now what I did have, was one of these. Let me just put it on the sofa. See, this is what I did, what I got originally, which is a SanDisk Ultra Plus 64 gig rated one micro SDXC one. This isn't my first one of these. This is in fact my second, because my first one that I got overheated and wouldn't record. So I went back to them and said, hey, this is broken. It's only five months old, 64 gig. The only SD I've got, swap it, because it's broken. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So they gave me another one, which is cool. I later on then realized that the reason why it did that is because the transfer rate on it isn't high enough and you burn the card out. Burnt the card out. No one in the shop told me that. So what I'm about to do is go to PC World, probably get a 64 gig. I've got like a gold version that's in you currently, in you. It's not in you guys, it's in you camera. But yeah, I'm gonna go grab another one of those to get ready and hopefully I'll have then at least like two and a half hours worth of footage, maybe three hours close to which would be good, which would be basically what I want, so I can film a lot of stuff, um, get it all changed up. also need to modify one of my Nerf guns. Let me just quickly show you which one I've got. So currently my plan is to rock with a sling fire. So I've done a little mount here, so you guys can be sat there looking forwards, kind of gun cam. Got tactical light, which does high, medium, and then strobe, which I need to never use. So it's got a laser, but I bought it online. I don't think the laser really works too well, so probably gonna leave that out. That's just bolted down either side of there into the plastic, but you can bolt it on and stuck on as well, give that extra purchase. Probably gonna spray some of this black later on today. Might film a bit of that, depending on what people think. Might just literally spray it all black, then take some sandpaper off of the orange areas, take it back to those. Might actually wrap these with leather, basically see what I fancy doing, but I'm probably just gonna spray the entire thing black, mask off the wood stock area. Might give this a little bit more detail. Might actually put like some different browns in there and stuff like that. But yeah, so it should be good. So let's go PC World. Also got my car MOT and got some nice new tires. Look at those. Yeah, Yokohama bad boys. They weren't cheap. Okay, so what just happened is I went in with the old SD card and told them basically that, you know, the referral of, of one of their staff to use the uh, use the SD card that is now burnt out and then burnt out again obviously didn't work. And they were like, right, have you got a receipt? I said, no. They said, oh, oh, I don't know. Because also it wasn't me who bought it. That's my fiance, she got it for me. And I'm obviously not my fiance. I'm not nearly nearly pretty enough or fabulous. No, I'm fabulous enough, but I'm not pretty enough. And they went, oh, second problem. And I was like, what can we do? Itchy leg is what we can do. Now they, they looked at me. She said to me straight in the face. She looked me dead in the face. And she said, you know the details, right? I was like, yes, my darling. Yes, I do. So she brought it up. Just said, unfortunately, without a receipt. Let me just close that. Unfortunately, without a receipt, they can only do it at a current price. These SD cards, about 40 quid a piece. So she said, currently they're 20 pounds, so I can give you 20 pounds off a new one on an exchange. I can't give you cash back. And I said, that's all right. My dear darling, all I want is more SDs. So I've got two. So I've got two 32 gigabyte SDs, which give me another hour and 20 minutes pop, which is good. 
So that's currently, what, four hours worth of footage? To be honest, I don't think my batteries are gonna be able to last long enough, but I'll bring a battery bank charger, it's fine. So that's good, we've got two more. You can live for longer and I can record more. Ace. Right, so I've changed into my apocalypse kit because if I'm gonna be spraying stuff, I don't care about this, it's meant to look rubbish. So, what we're now gonna do is this. We're gonna hit it with some gray primer. We're then gonna hit it with some black spray. We are then gonna hit it with some silver accents. Now I'm gonna hit myself with a can of Monster. And then I'm gonna hit the car with an air freshener. Okay, so there we got our basic. It's not great, but it'll do. Done a little bit of silvering around the muzzle anyway, because that looks really nice. Um, now the basics are done. What we're gonna do is we've got silver that we've got there, metallic. Put that down. Get a nice puddle of it. Dip your edge in it. What you can do is you can run it. When you run it, you can just bring out detail. If you're wearing a piece of clothing like you don't care about, like me, you can just run your. I think just for this event, now oh, they're going to keep this, keep the grip, uh, this bit as it is, because it's all going to peel off due to wear, so I'm not really too bothered about that, probably sand all that back down again, or at least do that with it, be fine. Okay, so we've just finished packing the car, Sophie's just sorting out the cat litter trays, a living room looks like a living room again, ish, yeah we're now about to go pick up Emma, and then the two hour journey begins. Sophie, what's time in? Six. So it's now quarter past 10. So we've got two hours to get there. Probably get there about half past 12. Then got about five and a half hours just to faff around. So we just had the obligatory McDonald's. I've got my two cheeseburgers. I had a fish and fillet. This cover. Quite nice, the McDonald's is sending us the wrong way, so we've got to do this little leafy bollocks. But yeah, we're nearly there. I say we're nearly there. We've got an hour and a half left to go, 80 miles. Um, Emma, you've never been in the car on one of these journeys, really, have you, apart from your birthday one that I did? So Emma's back there in all of her neon day glow stuff. Emma, do you want to tell us about your character? Oh, shit. Uh so my character is Jules. She is employed by uh, the Redemption Corps. Bad guys. Um, no, we're the good guys. We work for the government. Uh, we're a Omega. government organisation of reformed criminals. Um, you know, we're just trying to redeem for past crimes. I am not a criminal. I'm. I've got an NVQ in engineering. Um, I fix the boiler, and sometimes they let me come out on missions with them, where I fix their armour and stuff. And. Generally, I'm clueless. Uh, sometimes I get possessed by an Egyptian god, but that's that's you know that's as you do. do as you do as you do standard stuff. Yeah, and that's that's Jules. Cool. So that's that's Emma's character. Um, obviously, you've got Alpha and Omega at Future's End. I'm going to be an Alpha, and she's in Omega. So she's like a government puppet. Whoa now. Um, that's a government thing, isn't it? And then you guys are all paid by the government. We 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 sanctioned. Okay. We, we are, we, we help Sanctioned criminals. We are sanctioned, we don't know. Well, well that's like, just like redemption. Like war criminals. Call. That's just redemption. Call. We, we, we 
we joined the government organisation for Atonement for Fast Crimes, but most of the other um, Omega operatives are just good guys, you know, police, just trying to, you know, work with good guys. their law and appropriate civil structures and procedures to beat the bad guys. You, on the other hand, are anti-establishment anarchists with no oversight. No, we just, we do what needs to be done. I'm saying this, I've never played the game before and I don't really know the entire aesthetic of our group. But we do what needs to be done. There's you're no paperwork. Like, you're like who watches The Watchmen. You wouldn't sign up to join the, with the club with the government organisations because you're like, well, then who keeps an eye on them? So you're, you're who watches The Watchmen and I'm the Watchmen. Exactly. I watch The Watchmen while they're sleeping. Now just signing in. Got signed in, but it's people well, that we know, okay. so it's alright. So yeah, but it's all right. just after that, we're all mixed in together. Well, be E Can then. Can you spell our name? No. E A. So me, me and Emma are roomies, aren't we? Yeah, we're roomies. The only of the bad faction to be <laughs> down on the floor with us. I'm sorry, I'm the A-team. A for Alpha, obviously not Omega, because Omega does come quite significantly later in the alphabet, actually. So, you know, it's already, the they knew. The bar. That's the bar. It's the bar. But we're here. Let's go find mattresses. Right, so we're here in character now, ish. I'm in most of it. It's too hot for the coat, really, but I might put that on. Then, here's Jules. Hey! With the coffee. Um, show, them, show them the cool top trump cards. Oh, um, yeah, so some players did top trumps. You got very excited. Put you got them in my pouch. Didn't you? Okay. Yeah. So that's Emma's character, Jules. Obviously, quite nice. Do a quick flick through, if you can. Some hands prepared. Angus, he's in the same group as me. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, this place is, is awesome. We've done a little walk around already. Might do another one in a little bit maybe and actually record some stuff. Time. Um, time is half four. Half four. I'll so, do a little walk around. Yeah, do, do another little walk around. Right, I'm just gonna put you in my shoulder holster. So I'll do a little walk around like that. Back in a minute. I mean, that's what Shade's been doing this whole time. Selling inmates. Ammo. 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 Ammo.
It's all very good. Oh, we can get now. This hasn't got hazard tape on it. Should have bought boots. Should have bought boots instead of just trainers. Where well, I'm basically walking on the insole for a lot of them. It's not nearly as bad as my actual car. Look at that. Fancy racing gear knob. It's been weight reduced. Look that. It's got. It's got WRS like, like pedals in there. You take them out. Probably sell them on eBay for a little bit. Let's respray them. All good. It's not bad. SRS. Look at them seats. I can't see their bucket seats or if they've just collapsed. <laughs> yeah, so so this is this is our life for the next like the razor wire. Simon. Like, this is gonna be our, our home for the next two days. Two days. Which will be fun. Um we'll see how that goes. Again, I might end up dying. I, I, I might die. Yeah, not real. Actually, I, no, you might die for real. I might die for real. There's a, a, I reckon there's a lot of mold in this place. I don't. I, don't inhaler, I have my inhaler. I have an antihistamine. I won't IRL die. Probably. For you kids out there, IRL in real life. It should be fun. And then Keeners. That's where we're gonna live. I say Keeners. We're also in kit. Can't we talk? Got a jacuzzi. Look at that shit. Oh, is it? Could be a jacuzzi, yeah, but if you heat it up, anything's a jacuzzi. Get safe in there, farting away, it'll be fine. It's a giant, it's a giant bug dude. A giant bug dude. It's a what? Ethereal. It's an ethereal, apparently. It might be an alien. Might be an alien, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Anyway, peace out. Very You are being dropped into what is essentially a war zone right now. It is a prison that everything has gone to hell at. However, the baddies have resources. You are permitted to loot all and enemies. We encourage this. Some baddies will ask that you do not physically search them. Therefore, you must spend a minute of hand waggling over them as you vaguely try to sense the location <laughs> of things. Some of them might say, completely fine, feel free to rummage through my pockets. <laughs> um, so yeah, loot is important. Bullets, we are changing slightly. We now have green and black bullets also in the system. These are monster brass. You get nothing <coughs> for recycling these. Because that was becoming a problem with entire clips of monster ammo just being taken and being going for a lot of them. I think I just need, I think that's already been checked. Yeah, so then just that good. Well, we're at it. <laughs> well, we're at it. Your IC briefs that you have received are the only information that you have been given so far. Your faction commands may be slightly different. You have been met at this checkpoint just outside the entrance to the prison where, sensibly, like all good comic books, we keep all of the supervillains. All done one day. <laughs> but not this day. You have been met by three people, the leaders of the local authorities, that will be doing your briefings. All that remains for me is to say three, two, one, time in! Okay, I'm just going to end this video here just because I thought it'd be quite nice to have a little prequel session to it before we actually get into the game. If you want to be kept up to date with all the recent releases on my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and are keen for more content, hit that like button as well. And I'll see you in the prison in the next one.